Hello Space Pirates! Today we are talking about a more technical uh, tutorial on how to remove the lags or um, game spikes uh, in TTS. I recently uh, investigated that this happens due to the autosave of the game and the uh, size of the save files. This will lead to my game uh, freezing and uh, I'm still be able to use the Explorer or something else besides the TTS, but uh, TTS is not working anymore. It's uh, uh, yeah, freezing basically. If I'm hosting, this will uh, also cause issues to my, po um, my player I'm playing with and therefore this is very annoying. There are uh, different solutions for that in the uh, internet. Um, one is to remove uh, or re reduce the amount of uh, autosaves. This can be done over here by um, so reducing the autosave interval to zero and uh, autosave slots to zero and therefore uh, no autosaves are done anymore and this will remove the issue. Unfortunately, this also leads to not having any autosaves and if I get a disconnect or break the server, uh, this problem, uh, the game state is lost. I don't face this issue if I join a game. This is uh, usually due to uh, my opponent uh, doing the autosaves and I'm not doing the autosaves. And I did find out that uh, this is mainly uh, influenced by the size of the uh, autosave. Therefore, a um, uh, big shout out to uh, Why Rock No Die, who did the uh, TTS uh, table for and the workshop for uh, the Infinity the Game. But this doesn't only apply to Infinity the Game. And a huge shout out to Iskandar who is uh, now taking this uh, workshop over and maintaining it. And he did an uh, improvement to that. And this is due to these huge numbers of bags. And uh, they are also saved in the save game. And therefore there are a lot of models within uh, these uh, bags, basically. And they will all be saved. And uh, what Iskandar did is creating two workshops, one for the table itself, which doesn't have all these uh, infinite bags. And therefore, if we save the game, we can see that the, which is, uh, um, uh, it's uh, 274 will be uh, 5 megabytes and I have uh, some other games. This is a maximum uh, test, uh, but regular files are about 30 megabytes or even 150. And this takes a lot of time to either create the snapshot or store them to the database or to the file system. I don't know, but we can't change something there because this is due to TTS implementation. So this change dramatically reduces the uh, memory needed and therefore the processing time. So the freezes for me are gone now. So uh, this way this uh, uh, workshop is reduced and I can still access these uh, these bags uh, by simply just loading them and I can prepare my stuff but I don't need them in the game itself uh, and he made it that neat that even if I simply load the regular table and I then load additive load uh, the new stuff I also get them over here. So what do we learn from that? And not only for Infinity the game, it uh, will apply to any uh, workshop designer uh, and whatever. 
reduce the number of uh, assets in the main uh, workshop as much as possible and maybe split them into separate ones. If you are facing the problem with the freezes, there are a couple of people doing that in the uh, internet and uh, there's no proper solution to that yet. So far, you can simply uh, delete stuff you don't need. And this way you uh, reduce the memory needed and uh, improve the uh, performance of the saving. And therefore you can still run the game with uh, auto saves on and uh, work with that. So this should be applicable to all people creating uh, workshops with TTS, which is a great work and uh, therefore should be kept in the back mind and be uh, supported. To give a little bit insight into the game itself, Infinity the Game is a generally played tabletop war game, which is played in real life, uh, similar to Warhammer. Uh, with a little bit smaller scale, so it's about uh, 15 units uh, per uh, side, which is pl uh, played against each other. And uh, there are different uh, changes due to Warhammer, um, so it's more uh, player skill and uh, not net listing, so it's more you and not your list, and it's more uh, active, so it's basically always your turn to play. And this is an adaption of that uh, for the TTS, uh, which is supported by uh, the author of the game, Corvus Belly, because um, people pl try to play this uh, mod on the computer, and I do that as well as a father of uh, three kids. It's not always possible for me to go to, to go outside and play in real life, uh, so, but I can have this in addition. Uh, I also have my miniatures in my uh, backyard and uh, so buying them will support uh, the game since the rules are for free. It's uh, a nice game too and uh, miniatures are great and it's a really awesome play ex game experience. And uh, the TTS and the table is uh, made really well. It's, uh, it captures the tabletop feeling very well. You can uh, zoom in and have the third person view. You, have, uh, you can move the miniatures. You, you can play as nearly as neatly as on the real table. And there are really a huge amount of different uh, tables possible. We have this uh, city feeling. We have another table uh, where we have a beach uh, on uh, the uh, setup. So a lot of different uh, stuff is possible. You can even see uh, stuff moving around uh, over here. So this is a different table uh, or a very classic one or basic one where we have some uh, frost feeling over here. These are all old games from me saved and doing my battle wraps from, so you will see them on my battle reports. And uh, you can see that there are different, a lot of different settings are possible. So please check out the game, feel free, and hope you enjoy that.